friends, myself Sagar Choksi. So in previous session, we have started a new concept that is crash test, in which we have completed three different crash tests. First one that is frontal collision, second one that is rear collision, and third one that is uh, side collision. Right. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about a new concept that is seat design for ride comfort, in which we are going to discuss about uh, seat design for ride comfort introduction, second one that is factor consider for seat design and third one that is concept of edge point referencing. So let's start the lecture, lecture number 24 that related to seat design for ride comfort. So the first and important question that is which parameter we need to consider while we will take a seat design for ride comfort. So the first and important parameter that is unobstructed vision and reach of all control as we discussed earlier first and important one that is unobstructed vision and reach of all control because visibility is one of the main requirement that's why we require different mirror and we require different mirror at different angle so appropriate uh, seat adjustment features should be there so this is the first main point second one that is proper back support and Head rest should be provided because ultimately uh, driver seat comfort is one of the main parameter but that should not be obstruction during arm and leg movement. So this is what is seat design for ride comfort. So move forward to third point. So the third point that is seat should accommodate the driver size and shape. So according to driver size and shape that part is flexible. Driver seat is flexible. So move forward to fourth one. Fourth one that is seat should be comfortable for extended period. So this is what the seat design for a ride comfort. First and important one that is the visibility purpose. Unobstructed vision and reach of all control. Second one that is the back support. Third one that is seat should accommodate the driver size and shape. That's why the seat may be uh, flexible. And last one that is comfortable for extended period. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is factor consider for seat design. So there are mainly three different uh, factor while we, we will take this particular topic. First one that is body size, second one that is position of body, third one that is vibration and ride comfort. So let's talk on that, move forward to next slide. First one that is body size. So uh, which parameter we will take if we, if we uh, discuss about body size. So the first one that is, seat are mostly designed as per the body weight and anthropometry. As we discussed earlier, anthropometry that is the standard measurement that uh, we, uh, we, will take, uh, we will take in uh, some software or you can take ANSYS, right? It's just like a simulation. Seat are mostly designed as per the body weight and anthropometry of targeted user population to fit 90% of this particular population. So this is what the body size. Second one that is human linkage system. So what is human linkage system? So rigid human body can be specified according to joint center position and angle between adjustment link. So this is the uh, flexible point, right? So this is what the body size concept. So move forward to next slide. Second one that is position of body. So here there are mainly four different criteria while we will discuss about position of body. So the first one that is driver position or driver seat position is depend on vision and reach of driver. Right. Second one that is clear view and comfortable sitting posture are factor considered for designing the seat. First and important one that is the visibility. Second one that is the reach of uh, different control like steering, uh, uh, steering control, like uh, braking control, right. Third one that is, third and important one that is the dimension are depend on eye, hand and foot poses, right. So move forward to fourth one. For a different body, in this particular fourth point, for a different body, vertical back angle adjustment are provided, right. So uh, this is what the position of body as uh, the uh, driver said that is the flexible point. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is vibration and ride comfort. 
So here I have attached two table, first table that related to vibration. So vibration, shock and impact are the major factor for judgment of comfortability according to most user. And second one that is seat design also must consider weaker suspension system and vibration transmitted to seated user. So this is what the vibration and ride comfort zone. So this is what the different factor that we need to consider. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is dashboard instrument. So as we all know, as we all know about the car dashboard instrument, right? So let's focus the first point that is speedometer, second one that is odometer, trip odometer, battery charging system lamp, second one that is oil pressure gauge, coolant temperature gauge, low oil pressure lamp, hand brake lamp and fuel gauge and last one that is turn light and engine service indicator. So this, these are the main dashboard instrument in car body or you can take in vehicle body. Right. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is concept of edge point referencing. So first of all, what is concept of edge point referencing? What is edge point? So here I have attached one image that related to edge point concept. So in image you can find out the red, red color dot. So this is the edge point. If you drive your vehicle and you can find out in image you can find out the edge point. Edge point is the standard point, right? If you consider the simulation, if you consider the uh, simulation on uh, different software like ANSYS, so you will take this particular point that is the edge point I mentioned as a red color, right? So this is what the edge point. So now we, we will take the first one. The edge point is the theoretical relative location of an occupant's hip segment that is specially the pivot point between the torso and upper leg portion of the body. Third one that is it is used in vehicle design and vehicle regulation as well as other disciplines including chair and furniture design. Fourth one that is in vehicle design the edge point is also measured relative to other features. For example edge point to vehicle floor, edge point to leg in red color you can find out the edge point and from that red point you will take the distance from uh, that particular red point to leg right this is what the exam second one that that is the specially the pivot point between the torso and upper leg portion of the body third one that is the example different example are there including chair including furniture like right? this this is what the concept of edge point referencing we can briefly explain the concept of edge point referencing. So here I have attached one image that related to edge point referencing. In image you can find out the dotted point or as I discussed earlier edge point. So from edge point to upper portion that is called torso point and it is 563 mm all dimensions are in mm. So from uh, edge point or you can take the dotted point to down distance you can find out 97.6 mm from dotted point or edge point the horizontal point that is horizontal line that is 134.3 plus b right and last one that is in down portion you can find out the foot you can find out the lower leg bare foot flesh line and uh, heel point you can find out different dimension so this is what the concept of edge point referencing right edge point referencing this is very important as I discussed earlier and it is designed the different dimensions are designed as per the anthropometry and that anthropometry will be designed in that particular software like ANSYS. So this is what the concept of edge point referencing. Next topic that is visibility. So the first and important point that is good all round visibility. So uh, there are mirror, there are a mirror at different angle. Right. So the, this is what the first point. Second point that is it depends on size of the window opening and their position relevant relative to uh, occupants. Third one that is driver's eye position and the method by which the blind area can be determined. Right. So in this particular third point you can find out the mirror at a different angle so that the blind area can be determined. And last one that is proper adjustment of mirror. So in this way you can find out the visibility. So thank you. Thank you so much. In this particular session, we have completed two topics. First one that is safe design for ride comfort and second one that is 
एच पॉइंट रेफरेंसिंग कॉन्सेप्ट सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच